Okay, we'll go ahead and get started here with an opening statement and then uh, open it up for questions for Coach Underwood. Well, that went just about like I thought it would go. Um, a very good Rio Grande Valley team offensively there, tremendous. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, Johnson kid special. He's a tremendous, tremendous talent. He's he's put up big numbers, um, you know, all throughout the season. And um, you know, I thought we had some some real momentum in the first half. We stuck Demonte on him. He kind of shut his water off. And and uh, but uh, again, at the end of the game, it was hard to get stops. Uh, fortunately for us, uh, Shaq was on our team, and Kofi, um, and. Um, and Plummer, you know, played like a senior, played like a veteran, played like a guy that, that I've labeled as one of the best shooters uh, in the country. Um, we needed every one of those points from, from both of those guys. Um, and then uh, I'm really proud of Coleman. Uh, he was he was not good in the first half and, and very passive, um, very unaware, very uninvolved, to be honest. and. Uh, really responded late uh, and uh, uh, Demonte Williams uh, what a jump from the Jackson State game where he was our point guard to, to, to uh, the game tonight where eight assists no turnovers uh, probably made the biggest play of the game with the offensive tip back uh, put back and uh, then I do want to mention Ben uh, Ben changed the game in the first half just simply with his passing. Uh, it wasn't hard to get the ball to Kofi. Um, and yet, you know, we had some problems early, just post-passing, just post-passing. And uh, uh, Ben changed all that. And we got the ball, six assists, and, and, um, and then he was, he was very good on the defensive end. But uh, uh, Luke Goody came in and gave us really good minutes after um, really not being a factor uh, because of injuries in Kansas City. And I, I'm a big fan of Luke. Uh, Luke's got a lot of toughness. He's, he can really shoot it. Uh, but he wasn't afraid to jump up and take a three. His pull-up jump shot was was excellent, big-time move. Um, and, uh, you know, he had to play in the, in the guts of the game. So uh, you got guys out. You got guys guys not able to go. And, and they're three of your key guys. It's great to see. Certain guys step up, and, and fortunately, they did that tonight. Questions? <clears throat> Coach, this is your, I think, fifth different starting lineup in the six games. You know, you talk a lot about being connected as a team. You know, is this like the weirdest start to your season as far as trying to get guys connected and, and have some continuity? Yeah, I got no choice. I got no choice. Brandon, you update on Trent and Andre. And uh, Jacob White. Uh, we've got the flu going around. I would have played pods tonight. Pajemski a lot, a lot more. Um, he hadn't been out of bed in two days uh, with the flu, uh, fever, all the everything that goes along with that. Jacob has the same thing. Uh, Carbello's fighting the neck injury that or whatever the neck problem that he's got, uh, and obviously Trent. Uh, we saw his fall the other night. So, uh, you know, those guys are out, and, and it is what it is, and we're going to show up and represent Illinois with a bunch of guys who have to play better than we did tonight. But uh, that's what we got. What's your biggest concern defensively from tonight? Guard the ball. Guard the ball. And our ball screen coverage was atrocious. Um, you know, it's – it's. Um, they had three really good guys off off the bounce, and and then uh, you know we let uh, uh, the Nelson kid get going from three. We fouled him twice. Um, we let the ball get to the middle of the court uh, multiple times. Those are those are our base foundations. Uh, but uh, we didn't do a very good job guarding the ball. Uh, we've got to get better, better play on the defensive end from Plummer. We got to get much better play from Coleman uh, and Hutch, and those guys have to have to become elite defenders for us, and they've got to lock into that. Uh, when they do, we're, we're going to become an elite defender. But, you know, Demonte's out there fighting his ass off. And 
stopping the other guy, number one, and shuts him down. And then we've got other guys out there that are that, that, that one is dialed in. So I'm not very happy with that. Okay. I mean, you said it was simple, but what did Ben do where you could get the ball to go for you where the other guys maybe to that point weren't doing it? Caught it, threw it away from the defender, ball faked, everything that we practiced, everything that we worked on. Uh, just simple, didn't hold the ball, let it stick, didn't let it stick in his hands. You know, Coleman got in trouble because he held it too long. He's always wanting to dribble it and deck it. Um, you know, he's got, I think he's got 14 of his turnovers coming off the bounce this year. Um, you know, and, and just reverse it. If it's not there, but you've got to see the pass, you've got to see how open Kofi is before you catch it. And for the most part, Coleman's an elite passer. Uh, you know, Hutch jumped in the air three times tonight, three, to try to throw post entry passes. You know, that's just settling in and next game. Coach, you mentioned how proud you were of Luke Goody and what he provided you defensively, but his IQ seems to be really high for a freshman. Can you explain what that's like to see? Well, he's a natural leader, first of all. Um, he's got great, great feel. He's got great instincts. You can tell he was a quarterback. You can tell he's had to, to, to lead other people, get other people, uh, be accountable to other people. Uh, he, he's got a great positive vibe and energy uh, about him. And, uh, and Luke is a tough hombre now. Luke is a, Luke's a tough, tough dude now. I mean, you can, you can go at Luke all you want, and, and physically or, or mentally. And Luke's, Luke's a tough dude now. He's, he, he can respond to just about anything. Thanks, Scott. Coach Figure brought up Shaq as well, and Stanley Roberts, but just I mean, what did Kofi show tonight where it just made that he can be that, that dominant physical big? Well, I thought the best thing about tonight was his passing. He turned one over and the ball kind of rolled out of his hand, but he hit Luke for a three, hit Coleman for one, he got fouled on. Um, you know, and, and he got deep position. And again, we had a size advantage. Um, but uh, the other thing was, and, and it was no – no reflection on, you know, on Omar or no reflection on, on, on Ben at the five spot. But I was going to roll with Kofi because I couldn't stop him and we needed all the points we could get. And, uh, but, you know, I don't know, what was he, 15 of 18? 15 of, I can't read. 15 of 19. 15 of 19, and then he made free throws. Uh, you know, 8 of 11, we'll take that from Kofi every night. Um, I thought his ball screen defense was just okay. Uh, he's trying to block way too many shots, and that's not Kofi. That's not him. Uh, he needs to be that wall, and and and. Uh, but we'll get that squared away. When you're struggling to guard the ball like that, what's the approach on the coaching side to try to correct that with those guys? Keep working at it. Practice. Practice. You know, and it's it's tonight. One of the things that I mean, they just uh, you know they set in the ball screen coverage and they never set it, and they acted like they were coming to screen and they just slipped out of it. And our guards were adjusting, but our guards, you know, without Trent, without Cabello, those two are lead at it. Devontae's a lead at it. Needless to say, the rest of our guys are not yet. I mean, it was just a straight line drive. And there's, you got to be physical. You got to be a tough, a tough mother to do that, in the way we play it. And, well, Nelly, we got a long way to go there. So I think that may be two hours of practice tomorrow is figuring out how to get the hell over the top of a ball screen. Yeah. Fred, are you hopeful that Jacob and Andre will be one to go or able to go on Monday? I'm, Jeremy. I'm way, way beyond. Trying to figure it out. I show up for a game, I show up for a practice, and I have no idea who I have. And we've got the sickness going around. We've got, uh, I've got a bronchial deal. Um, you know, we've got staff with it. We've got, and so tomorrow, I love Paul Schmidt to death, but I dread his text messages right now. Um, he tell, tells me who's here and who's not. I guess, you know, with Alfonso, making a lot of threes last two games. Where do you stand on when the E-check moment should come and maybe when? Not when he shot that one.
because especially when he gave up another three, he, he, he's got to understand that he's never been coached on that end. And he's got to understand that I'm going to run something for the heat check. But you realize that he missed it, and he gave one up at the other end. They're bad shots. And, and I, hey, no one loves a shooter more than me, and no one loves to continue to go to a shooter more than me. So he doesn't have to try to pull from six feet behind the line in transition. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll hammer some of that stuff out, but man, is he a gifted shooter. Man, is he, I love seeing that ball go up. Coach, how much of the defense is guys that maybe aren't accustomed to the detailed scouting reports and missing out on you know right-hand drives, things like that? A whole bunch. A whole bunch. I mean, yeah, I mean, you can tell DeMonte's experience today. Um, you can tell that other guys don't have that. You know, they're, one of the hardest things about playing basketball defensively is you have to be an unbelievable listener. And, and, and people think, what are you talking Well, when Kofi, and Kofi's elite at it, when Kofi calls a coverage in a ball screen, we have two, different, two or three different options. When he makes the call, you have to adjust your feet. And if you can't adjust the right way, that puts us in harm's way. And it's not very hard. But you have to be a listener, and then you have to respond. You can't do it a tick late. And uh, so part of that is scouting report. Part of it is practice. Part of it is just familiarity with it. And, um, you know, I was ticked off early when Zero, you know, who I don't know if he's put the ball in his left hand all year, you know, straight line drives Coleman right from the top of the key. And Coleman has the ability to be the, one of the best defenders in this league when he's wants to be that. And, you know, we've been all over him about his closeouts. He jumps. Kid steps in. and That's not the way we've ever practiced it. And so it's discipline, and it's, it's, it's growing, and he's going to be fine. And, and, you know, that's all part of gaining experience. Tyler? Yeah. Coach, uh, 21 assists on uh, 33 mates. That did function of, of finally getting the post speeds figured out and, and Plummer making shots, or were you happy with, with the way the ball was moving tonight? Yeah, the, the simplicity of what we did tonight was really good. I mean, there was there were hardly any ball screen set. But we didn't we didn't have that we didn't have that team tonight. So there was no ball screen set, or very very few, maybe one out of every four possessions. Uh, the simplicity with which we played tonight probably helped us a bunch. And obviously, Bello and Trent, we're going to put a, a lot of ball screens in because those guys are really good at them. But we didn't have that, and we had a dominant, you know, as I told our team, it was, I'm proud of them for understanding where the bread is buttered, and that was Kofi. And we played out of it in great space, and, and Curbelo got great looks. If you give me 21 assists every night, we're probably going to shoot those type of percentages. Coach, obviously having so many guys out is really frustrating, but how much have you been able to rely on Devontae Williams for leadership throughout this First couple weeks of the season. Man, he's the rock. He's the he's been everything that he, he's been everything that, that here's here's reality. There's nobody else on our team who has the versatility to go play. Literally, if I ask him to play the five, he can play the five. There's nobody else that has that versatility. Uh, he hadn't practiced at the point since Jackson State. Or maybe Arkansas State a little bit. I mean, he literally had it. And all of a sudden, before the game, we're cheer around today. Here we go. And so um, I, he's, he's the rock of our team. He's the identity of our team. He's the defensive presence. He was the guy in the huddle, uh, getting on guys when, when they weren't guarding to his level. Can't, can't say enough great things. Can't criticize the officials, but you can praise Ben for not fouling on that second uh, three-point shot. If you want. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad to see that he learned. You know, I mean, that's that, in that a process. You know, when you screw up twice and you know you get two fouls called, you would. I won't say the quote that comes to mind, which we all know, but yeah, he was. He's he's fine. I love Ben, and Ben does very few, very few things wrong. All right.
Thank you, Coach. Thank you.